Hello there. No, oh, there I am. I'm going to make this a big Abbey related stream. It's nighttime. I want to uh, do the Elder God challenge of a tomb. I want to look at all this stuff here to read because this is a lot of history of the Abbey and reveals a lot of uh, mystery and origin of Hunter and everybody else here. So let's commence with the uh, backstory and information and any journals we find along the way. The World According to Loki by Loki, true ruler of the Ten Realms. Well, that's it. You think so. Someone of my background and skill set must find interesting ways to pass nearly infinite stretches of boredom. To be blunt, I do seek power and conquest as many have alluded to in the past, but I also seek out my own forms of entertainment. This I believe as the spice of life to many of these so-called heroes' rather dull existence. It is quite easy to do what you are told. Follow orders, stay in line, do not oppress the weak, blah blah blah. Where's the challenge there? Imagine my dear brother Thor's adolescence without the occasional giant spider manifestation to create chaos and liven things up a bit. Without my contributions, his younger years would have been a never-ending series of training exercises while listening to our father ramble on for all of eternity. I like to think that Thor welcomed the occasional serpent attack on the city of Asgard. Moments like those give him a chance to show off and flex those meathead muscles of his. Without me, he would be on his own searching out trouble. I merely bring it right to his front door so he can play hero. However, there were times there that he was not quite thrilled when I took what I considered to be exciting and unique creative liberties. I do not think he especially liked being turned into a frog or a woman, for that matter. We did have fun, didn't we, dear brother? Well, at least I did. Again, a disclaimer, I am not a professional voice artist. Much as I'd like to have that for a living, that sounds like fun. But, you know, I want everybody to sound a little different. Ooh. Mythological Zoologica, The Wild Hunt. Though the occurrence of the phenomenon is widely overreported, there are still well-documented cases of the wild hunt occurring in modern times. If one wishes to hear the hounds of Anun, I can't pronounce that, as they course overhead, areas of historic suffering are always an excellent place to start, and as to look upon them is to look upon death itself. Best to wait until Selenian illumination is at its lowest point. Well, let's assume the Hounds of Anmun is the equivalent of a bar guest. Let's see what we have. Bones. Aha. Caretaker's Journal, June 1710. My appreciation and adoration for Agatha has left me vulnerable to feelings. I have not known for centuries. I want her by my side, and I wish for her to join me for what we will be facing in the coming years, though I admit that it may be selfish for, of me to share these risks. I find myself in the very position I w once criticized and judged Lilith for, and it brings me shame. As blood descendants, we were not meant to bring children into this world or love another as she did, as I love Agatha. Was I wrong to judge Lilith so harshly? Or am I wrong now? Is it hard to face? I have found myself wanting to be with Agatha just as Lilith felt with Gregor and their child, to have a family to love and be loved by another. Oh, and also disclaimer, I do live in Queens, New York, like Spider-Man, but not in his neighborhood. We do have a lot of activity outside our our windows. Okay, so I don't see anything else new here. There's going to be a little crisscross icon when there's something on the shelves. And she's just reviewing what I need to look for, and it's nothing new. 
So uh, Agatha and, and we're not going to engage right now. Conquest Through Technology and Mysticism, a manifesto by Dr. Doom. <clears throat> this is going to be a big one. <clears throat> Power and conquest have been my ambitions since early youth. Only a fraction of individuals possess the strength of will to even pursue such destinies. For one must be perfect in both mind and body before a journey of this nature may even begin. My ascent to godhood began with... A quest for answers, a means to free my imprisoned mother from Mephisto's grasp in the depths of hell itself. That singular focus opened my mind to the power of arcane sorceries. I concluded that forbidden magics must be combined with disciplined academic study to free my mother's soul and ensure my victory when facing Mephisto. My experiments sought to resolve this conflict, which led me to the regrettable encounter with Reed Richards and the explosion that scarred my flesh. From that point on, Richards and any others who opposed me would face the wrath of Victor Von Doom, reborn from the ashes with the means and technology vastly superior to anything seen before. Now armored and set to take what is rightfully mine. Many have sought to topple me from the throne of conquest, yet all have failed. The Fantastic Four, mere playthings for my amusement. Let us consider the Hulk, thought to embody unlimited raw and destructive energy, and yet Hulk fell like all others, unable to withstand my power, armored blows. Even in my infancy as Doctor Doom, I seized the power cosmic and the surfer's board with ease. Guardians, heroes, whatever they wish to call themselves, are little more than childlike pawns. Even Thanos, self-appointed tyrant of the galaxy, has was laid waste by a single blow from Doom's fist. For the record, Thanos did not possess the Infinity Gauntlet at that point, but no matter. He would have been put in his place, such as the will of Doom. Okay... Handbook of the Wilds, excerpt from page 13. The Aztec revered the mushroom as the flesh of the gods, frequently serving them with honey and chocolate. Other species, such as the death cap, were quite poisonous when ingested. Scotch bonnet were known to grow naturally in ring-like formations, sometimes referred to as fairy circles. And as an aside, I did mention that the other day. These were often thought to improve fertility and bring good fortune to relationships. This is the thing that we're going to at some point get a hold of and, I mean, kickstart and get to use, which is why it's important for us to get those lovely uh, reagents out there because we can make some really, really neat stuff with them. Okay. Ooh, frames in the abbey. Various frames in the abbey can be interacted with. Paintings can be removed from frames for a small gloss cost. Paintings from your inventory can be replaced in empty frames for free. That could either be the classic art that we pick up around the grounds or pictures of heroes that we make. Okay. Make this one available. I actually have five keys, and I think three of them were left from my previous run. <laughs> okay. I think everybody's asleep because I went on an, uh, an outing. But. What is my level anyway right now? I'm three. Can I do it? Well, with with the abilities I have, no doubt. But that's a good question, because if they don't pack enough punch, that could be problematic. Well, actually, you know, I think we have access to... <clears throat> so if we ac have access to this, 
way over there, I'm looking at it, there's this, you know, stone under an arch of dead trees over there beyond me. That is where we're going. See? It's the same icon you see at my feet over there lit up. So let's see what we can do about getting there. And try your hand at... Uh, You want to go over the bridge. Oh, by the way, there's also somewhere out there, uh, over there somewhere, there's a, you can see there's also a chest over there. It's a rare chest. It's got blue. All right. So I think we're going to give this a whirl. Worst can happen is we fail and we have to try on another night. Okay. <clears throat> the second bloodgate. I should warn you, Hunter. You may find the trial ahead more <clears throat> difficult than I originally let on. The gods will push you harder, and you might very well fail. And if I do? You dust yourself off and you get back in there. Or you train. Rethink your approach and come back later, when you feel ready. And what if I am hurt? Or worse still, what if something happened to Charlie? Neither of you will be harmed, dear. That's not what this is about. The Elder Gods want to see what you're made of, but they're not out to get you. Well, except Cathan, but you already knew that. Yeah, yeah, we know that. <laughs> then I should make an attempt while I am here. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just enjoy yourself. You're the only one getting an opportunity like this. I will do my best. Oh, and Hunter? I should mention, you'll only be able to make one attempt at the trials per night. Even the old gods grow weary of their children eventually. Good luck. Okay. And one of the eligibility requirements is to have a moon seal, which we did find. A trial of the Elder Gods, a tomb. Reveal that which was lost long ago. I think we have the ability. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Do, I don't know. Well, we might fail. Never hurts to try. <clears throat> but she says, any injuries won't be permanent. I just worry about me doggy. just be nice to you know fill some of those lovely um, those lovely bridges so we can get to other areas <clears throat> defeat 16 Lillen within four turns to complete the trial by the way if you defeat them all well you'll see when many of the elder gods were corrupted and became what we would call demons the god a tomb born from Gaia herself was set upon our world to slay these monsters. In that sense, the two of you have had a shared purpose. Fight well, Hunter, and he may just honor you with his blessing. Well, these guys are always a bit of a problem, right? And they're 281 each, so... <laughs> so, what do we do? My, my first thought is... Oh, aren't you lucky? I can go on that one. <clears throat> you are too weak for this fight. That's okay. I got plans. Take special care when attacking Lila and Guardians, as damaging their health will also apply a taunt. Since they're already aiming for me, I'm not really worried about that. They hit very hard, by the way, so... I'm more inclined to... put a howl somewhere. Because these are not quick cards. Leave 
some for the rest of us. When these get, one of these is actually going to become knockback when she upgrades. We have to pet her more. You know, we just hardly met her. <laughs> okay, so. On KO, draw a card. Yeah. I am impressed. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, dogs don't have opposable thumbs. We can't use environmental, um, with Charlie can't do that, so I can. Now this is going to be nice. Consider it Your mother abandons you. All right. Let's see, you have one forty six, you have one seventy three. And you are a dog. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. So, who gets to do what? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Wham! Wham! Okay. We have just about what we can do here. This is for sliding, this is for vaulting, but not here. There's no rocks to throw. This one has is almost done, too. 54 is not unreasonable. Even, even Charlie can get him out. And one seventy three. Well, it looks like we are going to Oh, I really would have liked another kind of slash, but okay. We'll live. Okay, you too. Go on. That was your one chance. A tomb was unleashed and made quick work of the demons, but in the process, he became something of a monster himself. He even became known as the Demogorg, the God Eater. If this is a cautionary tale, your timing could use some work. They do not stand a chance. Yeah, Feel yeah. my call. <laughs> I just wish we had more uh, free cards. Charlie's going to get hit. Now that was something. You know what it can do. Take this one out. It's it's um How much do you have left? 
109. What I'm going to do is take this one out and it will be refunded. Servants of Lilith. It doesn't matter if I'm concealed Once or again, not. Lilith's servants fall. Okay. How long, how, how far does this go is the question. I mean, much as I'd like to do the other. This goes pretty far. What about this one? It's not showing me. I mean, if I, if I walked over here... Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't perform this action. Of course I can perform that action. Am I just not... There's a there's an error here or something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm aiming for my own dog. Don't. Like the honors, doggy doggy. Oh, guess we did it. Or did we fail? Is the question. Should it be three turns? That's the question, because I think we had a trick thing in the past where. Oh, good. They want you to do four of these. <laughs> Just imagine how much more difficult this would be if Charlie wasn't there to join you. I think you owe her a treat after this. I have an ulterior motive. They cannot possibly match your strength. There we go, so we got something for free. Return to your mother. Oh, Charlie, would you like to num num on each one? Oh, yeah, I understand that very well. We're saving the good they stuff for last. They possibly match your strength. Says we have an item. Oh, that's right. We do have a combat item. I think Blade is honestly jealous that you're getting this extra training in, and with live targets too. Mm -hmm. Woo! Look at that one. Can one of them smack at that one? So you gotta love this one. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> do not bother running. I think we proved ourselves. You were unprepared. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. 
I thought this was our fourth one. But I'll go again. Ta-da! If that doesn't make an impression on Autumn, I don't know what will. Good work, Hunter. Well, she pronounces it right afterwards. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't have done it with my dog without my doggy. Okay, let's get some of this stuff off. Oh, I'm hoping you're not hearing that. It seems that we have somebody doing kind of work next door. <laughs> that I did not see coming. So if you hear any anything <clears throat> anything power toolish, that's it. Okay, so well this is not where it took took place, so I would be more inclined to put it in Yeah, okay. That's us. That's going to make this very interesting. Boy, this is a day, isn't it, for background noise? I hope this thing absorbs it well. I do have a filter. Yeah, the sound of the cave will will drown any background noise out. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to check this out. So we're going to put the uh, moon seal here. Oh, this looks like the moon's here. The word of power reveal. Calling a tomb allows you to reveal all manner of mysteries hidden from view. These may be long forgotten structures or events that cannot be detected with the naked eye. With a tomb's help, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the grounds. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? Ooh, before I do, a faded journal page from Wanda, March 2020. I don't belong here. I felt it before I even stepped, a f spe stepped foot inside. It's like a complete rejection of who I am. Like a tomb himself is here, pushing back against me. I'll try again another time, but today it feels so hopeless. I can't tell Agatha about this. I know she's counting on me, everyone else too. It's so much pressure, but I won't let them down. I can't. See, they were trying to uh, make Wanda replace Hunter because Hunter was entombed. There you go. The son of Gaia approves. Thank you. Also, it seems that we're having one of these rare occasions where the, um, the airplane <laughs> is... The airplanes to LaGuardia Airport, yes, I did say I was in Queens, New York, seem to be patterned over us. It's a whole different area here, huh? 
And this takes us back into the stone terrace. Autumn be praised. See, I think we have already been to this statue. Yes. <clears throat> There's a whole new neighborhood here. The Valley of Winds would be come out. And a whole different uh, reagents to pick. <clears throat> you can see why I'm going to make this an Abbey stream because I knew going to a new area we would have new things to pick, new valuable things to pick. And I know the next night uh, Agatha wants me to help her restart the cauldron, which will do some really great stuff for us. See that? And also, beyond that is the next uh, word of power. We're not ready for that. This was supposed to be for someone much stronger. Even, even with the abilities we have, you know, they're still dialed back. I just knew how to use them. Skill is half, half the thing. Hmm, thank you. Aha! We got another haven. The Shady Bridge. There's no bridge, but it is shady. A lot of those lovely death caps. Ooh, Martha Richards. Suspected witch, Martha Richards, interrogation record. This references a tree the villagers call the Life Taker. Its limbs held so many of the dead, it needed to be fitted with iron supports. Martha Richards met her fate there. You'll find there's something else. We'll often see Autumn places... We'll often see places that will have this and give us keys. <laughs> Something terrible happened here. It's uh, not hard to figure out whose church this is. Hiram Shaw's. The journal page. Wanda's journal, April 2020. What a strange place this is. So much terrible history and so much corruption. But the energy here draws me in. Maybe it longs to be cleansed of the evil of Hiram Shaw. After all, this was once a place of peace and community before, before everything. I found a page of a journal from back then, written by Sean himself. I almost thought the page could have some kind of bad energy. But it was just a piece of paper in the end. Although, it's made me wonder about what I know to be true around here. I trust Caretaker and Agatha completely, but I'm starting to think that I don't know as much as they've let me believe. <laughs> so, Wanda's journal is tallying three of eight. Another... Blueprint? An epic blueprint. We're not even up to that yet. The Weeders. Here's another uh, master a piece of work. The Weeders. And here's a picture. They're not giving us a chance to look at it really strong, but this is probably the uh, tree that they referred to. It's a drawing of the tree with people hanging on it. 
I'm just going to check around first before I go. There's another one. The glorification of the Royal Hungarian Saints. Another painting. At some point we can take a look at any paintings uh, in our gallery and take a look at what we've been collecting. They are actual pieces of work. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They came all the way from Transia, with the Abbey, to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World, just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore who brought it to the coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. By the way, this next Moon Seal is also going to be... Uh... <clears throat> paced according to the main story so we may not see that right away but when we when we're ready to see it and have the next trial because that's what we need for a moon seal that's the same thing we're going to do let's make sure both sides there's nothing here <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we can do about opening this thing. Okay. A faded journal page. Of Hiram Shaw, January 1694. I was wrong to let my heart linger on the thoughts of Lilith. She and her foul sister are worse than I could have imagined. She has even corrupted a man from my congregation this to her cause. Study. These women have more influence than that coven, even without their roots in this village. My congregation size falters. I raise my hands to Cathan nightly, crying for guidance. <laughs> Journal of Hiram Shaw, April 1694. 
This scroll contains more influence than I initially perceived, for it is not merely power within, but corruption beyond my wildest imaginations. For each mark upon the land, a page could have been traced to its location, aligned to a person of power who handled fragments of the blasphemous tome. I have come to believe that the dark and destructive events that plague this land are not the chronological rhythms fate has set in motion, but the dark holds sway. <laughs> a little too late, he realizes what he got into. Let's see if there's any recipes or other things. <clears throat> because we've got some blank pieces of paper here, and to do that, we need our new friend here. The word of a tomb. <clears throat> Go. Take a look at these places. This vile wench managed to strike me across the face. A mistake she paid dearly for. A thorough search of her filthy warren again revealed nothing of interest. We'd been to this one. It's near the... Uh, it's near the grave of Gregor, uh, Hunter's father, where the uh, where the one um, doll is that Hunter made. How long did the Salem witches hide here before meeting their end? This is near the abbey, uh, along a stream. She may have been a powerful conjurer at some point, but this one was easily caught off guard in the night, despite my best efforts. She refused to speak of anything but meaningless drivel. And then this last one over here. At Stone Terrace, we went to that quite early on. This one refused to fight, perhaps hoping that her pacifism would entice me to end her suffering more quickly. It did not. In the end, she revealed nothing, and her hovel was just that, with no sign of the artifact. So the first one that we went to um, is actually in Dreamer's Descent. <clears throat> so we've got these things, and we've got another door. She believes in our purpose. Journal page. Hunter's Journal. December 15, 1711. The cold depths of winter challenge us all. I am grateful for Agatha and her control of the elements, especially fire, on these dark days. It is hard to believe that even with the threat of Lilith looming, that cold and hunger can draw up so much of our energy. Agatha brings me to her altar to train now, and says that by the end of winter I will also be a master of the elements. I look forward to that day, if only to leave the snow behind us. And of course here is a chest. nothing here to reveal I don't think if it was here autumn would show me I it looks like a tarot card we're gonna see more of them since we open up new areas the hierophant hierophant Professor X channels his power to raise the knowledge necessary to be shared with his pupils. He holds in his hands the key to understanding. This card represents guidance and wisdom from a teacher. <clears throat> Journal of Hiram Shaw. Did I say Hiram Shaw? I don't remember which... I'll have to wait till one of them says it. I forgot. I think it's Hiram Shaw. It pains me to set these words to page, for my cause is righteous. Any admittance of weakness I find unfathomable, but I must tread with the utmost care. The whispering specters intensify, testing my will at every turn. This page, I have come to realize that it is responsible for the corruption of not only the souls of man, but the destruction of entire civilizations. 
throughout history. Today it is the people of Salem that suffer. Again, he realizes the mistake he made using that to to use power from it. Nothing here, nothing here. This ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Uh, see? When we get back to the Abbey, we have to talk to Doctor Strange. Remember, even though he's not a witch, he doesn't use elemental magic. He is a master of the mystic arts. So even if his core one is Asian-based, he's still very familiar with various cultures and various practices, and he will be able to help us. We can suspend this for now, I guess. It's kind of sad, though. It makes me wonder whether um, I'm waking up from his sleep. <laughs> oh no, he's in the library. First of all, where is my dog? Because I have to thank my dog for everything she has been doing. She did this battle like a pro because she is the Who's pro. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Very good. I know I, I pet her today, twice, but she deserved an extra special. Hello there. Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. Actually, we... I have found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. I typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. <laughs> when he's gonna get mugged? I'm following. Thank you. It makes Tony nervous, you see. Uh, oh, you, you mean Tony's worried for you? Not in the I'm concerned about your personal well-being, Doctor Sense. I think he's actually more afraid of what might happen to my side of the forge without proper supervision. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Which, to be fair, is a valid concern. And in most cases, I'm perfectly content to bide my time studying safely indoors. Well, yeah, who wouldn't? There's an unsettling air about this place. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. This church belonged to a preacher named Hiram Shaw. His influence turned Salem against its coven. A charismatic personality and a fearful populace can do much evil together. There was more to it than that. Yes, I suspected as much. You're gonna love this one, Strange. Come here. Check this but out. I'm sure there's nothing to fear with you by my side, Hunter. Oh no. Anybody tries to mug you, I'm gonna kick their ass. <laughs> oh, tell me you can't get up those steps. Lead the way. Oh, good. We needed a cinematic. <laughs> you were right to bring this to my attention, Hunter. I thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. 
It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Wanda spent a great deal of time out here, and she had the power. She does have some experience with these spells, but why would she do that? The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. I'm assuming he left, right? It's pretty out here. Oh, and there's the word of, uh, the next word of power when that time comes. I'm assuming he's back in the library, right? Or he went to bed. He's not here for sure. I do see that, uh, Ileana is still pondering, uh, what the energy f she sensed. She's still at the at the wild cliffs where the portals are made. <laughs> now that we've gotten that going, and Strange is going to look into what he can of that, we're going to check out another area, right? Because we're going to reveal the missing part of this bridge. Autumn reveals all. See what it looks like around here? There's a lot of... Lots of foliage. See if there's anything around here. We might still have death caps. No, no. Or new stuff. Or more stuff. Lots of moonflower, I suspect. I'm just going to go straight and then go into the other areas. Uh, we have two entrances to that space. What's here? new one, the Deadly Nightshade. We never had a Deadly Nightshade before. Cathan's dark influence has tainted this well. Now we don't have a means to, to do anything here. So someday we will. That might be another word of power, might be some other solution. Also, to get through to this area, you can see there's over there another a tomb, word of power, and some red flowers. So, that's a whole nother neighborhood. <laughs> but we also saw a way up to something else, and I would like to pursue that. Because I think it has one of our Oster opens. Oster smiles upon me. Nothing. It's a house. It's Agatha's cottage. And 
A haven? A quiet graveyard. Well, it overlooks the quiet graveyard anyway. There's one down there. Caretaker's Journal, April 1701. Today I told the child of their mother. I tried to be gentle, but clear. Agatha brought her warmth and comfort to the conversation, and I think she's the reason the child had shed no tears. At six years old, it was time. We have defended the Abbey against Lilith and her Lillin, but soon enough she will grow stronger. We keep the secrets that we must, but the child must know what hides in the shadows of the world. <clears throat> Nothing. Autumn must not see it that way. See if there's any plants. I'm gonna check outside before I go inside. Oh, tarot card. Aha! Uatu the Watcher for the world is always lingering just beyond the world, observing and learning. This card represents accomplishment and becoming whole, along with re reaching the finale of a chapter. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Troublesome alignments. Agatha's hastily written note. I have been charting the celestial movements the past many months. Once the alignments have been properly calculated, I will gain a better understanding of the coming resurrection. As I get closer to narrowing the timelines, I have begun to pick up disturbances within the grounds of the Abbey. Current events have intensified as of late, and a low rumble can be felt emanating from Lilith's tomb. Caretaker's Journal, 1695, January 2nd. A witch appeared at the Abbey today. I cannot say from where she came, nor what it is she wants, but Agatha is truly a fascinating and gifted woman of great magical ability. She brought a basket of warm food with her, and despite myself, I couldn't turn her away, even if I had wanted to. She told me that she sensed a child of magic, and her heart drew me drew her here. I think that I believe her, though I know that I have no reason to. Okay. Neat stuff, huh? We're exploring as if we never done this before and it's always great to relive these things oh advanced occult transmutation another recipe book warnings and safety chapter is half the book major heroic essence and major strength tonic so things to restore you and conjuring money yeah yeah oh yes yes He sees our path. Ooh. I know we've been collecting these. Maybe we should splurge on one. But sometimes, even though they seem really cool, they don't always have very much. What is this? There's nothing here. Or is there? Oh wow! That did work! I would just did it! <laughs> oh, thank you very much! A tomb is the son of Gaia. We will read that. What you got for me? Money. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, that was wonderful. I don't see anything on this side. Time to go inside, I think. We've seen everything we could.
Agatha's house. Free. Ooh. Apply too vulnerable to all Lillin. The dogs are Lillin, so we do see them sometimes. Inspect and... Interesting. Let's take a picture of this. Because now we have two sequences that we can use when the time comes. Cauldron Manifest from Valkyrie. Ag Agatha Hemdall has aided me in the transfer of Loki's confiscated cauldron. It will be delivered to the location you marked on your letter, the same letter that found its way to Asgard directly to Odin's hand. Your request caused a great deal of excitement, prompting Odin to appoint me the newly formed physician of Asgardian warrior clerk to arrange the transfer. I cannot think of a better way to utilize my abilities than to act as your delivery girl. So, yes. The, um... The cauldron in the library is as guardian. Caretaker's Journal, November 14th, 1694. This is not the Lilith that I know. This is not my sister. I witnessed her seal away that horrid preacher in a damp cave with an unbreakable ward. Well, that answers that, right? We could have healed the darkness of his heart or provided him a merciful death, at the very least. To leave him to fester and slowly slip away into a painful death, I have never witnessed such cruelty from her. And now it seems she is nowhere to be found. I traced her to her gardens, perhaps to repent for what she had done, but it's as if she's vanished. So now we know what's behind those wards and who made them. <laughs> Okay, the Cauldron Manifest, page two. Odin, I suspect it's quite entertained at this point, knowing the, vic the history of Loki's cauldron and the destruction and turmoil that awaits you. I hope that this relic lives up to your expectations, and should the need arise for another transfer, I hope to be caught up in various life and death struggles which require my attention. Agatha, I know you to enjoy a good challenge, and you shall have it with this wretched thing. Okay, what else? Fragments of Raw Earth, excerpt from page 211. Hematite is commonly used for grounding and stability. While the lodestone's magnetic qualities are, were meant to attract good fortune regarding love and relationships, meteorite with its association with the celestial realm can enhance astral projection and served as an excellent amplifier for dream and spirit journeying. Also, as an aside, hematite's also known for being good for the nerves or anxiety it calms so which makes sense because you need to really get into the zone to do astral or spirit journeying okay here's one too the everbloom grimoire is another recipe book whoa this an ancient book gives off a pleasant scent when opened under a waxing moon Oh, good. Um, is it a waxing moon? Heroic... Oh, look at all these wonderful essences we've got here. We could transfer... We could transform stuff we have a lot of to stuff we need. Caretaker's Journal, 1694. Lilith returned to the Abbey several nights ago, clutching the babe. It was as if the illness had never touched her, and when I looked into her eyes, my sister was gone. Who or what remained, I do, did not recognize. She pleaded with me on her hands and knees, no less, but I could sense the magic of the dark hold all over her. She's been cast out. The abbey is sealed, and I find myself the caretaker of a child. Weathered note. Our young hunter, although I didn't know Lilith all that well, I should have imagined the hunter would be an energetic child, given their lineage, while Sarah acts as the ever-vigilant stickler for order and reason. I've become something of a silent partner in crime for the hunter's hijinks around the abbey. 
Of course I would never interfere with their training or education, but someone has to encourage things like exploration and creativity. It would be nice if the hunter had someone their own age to spend time with. I'm not sure a couple of old witches make for the best companions to a child. Sometimes I have to remind Sarah that there's more at stake here than just training a powerful demon hunter. She means well, of course, and I know she loves the hunter as her own. Still, they're going to drive each other crazy at this rate. Maybe some kind of pet would help? This is empty. Nothing. Okay. There must not be anything here. Cauldron experimentations. This is one cagey beast indeed. Dr. Druid was not kidding when he stated the difficulties tied to the imp-like creature bound to this cauldron. It appears that the energies bound within the forge only serve to further agitate the creature within the cauldron. June 10th, 1988. My initial experiment proved to be ineffective. A protective ward I had created to shield the abbey instead of... instead released a noxious black cloud which hung over the ground for days. June 13th, 1988. I moved the cauldron this afternoon to just outside the abbey and attempted to purify the springs that ran off from the waterfall into the yard. Instead, I managed to release a geyser of flames that shot a good 80 yards into the air. A most unfortunate event. The flame blast incinerated many of my favorite willow trees. Okay. The unmarked ones, let's assume those are all, um... Those are all, um, Agatha. Okay, it looks like... We have Agatha's cottage. There is a cemetery we've kind of waited to get to. This is a lot of stuff in this area. Here we go. Deadly nightshades. I see over there a, m a moonflower. Ooh, a tarot card. The Empress. Storm channels nature's power in the elements, harnessing a frightful storm with little effort. This card represents pleasure and prosperity and a strong natural influence. That's 11 of 22. That's halfway. Ooh, if anybody wants to hang out in a, in a cemetery, this is the place. The Eerie Graveyard. What is this? A 17th century cemetery housing many of Old Salem's infamous inquisitors. So these aren't, this isn't the graves of witches. They were not given that privilege. Ooh, that's another Healy thing that we got last time. So that is nice to have. I don't know how many slots we'll have to look see, but I would prefer to have this over anything else. If there, since we have another thingy. Okay, so we were all in this area. That's where we came from. Ooh, thank you. Uh, here's another spot. The Everflowing Glade. Another, another haven. These are great because they all have different types of activities. So when we offer a haven for any, a hero, we'll have more options. And not say, okay, I want to take this one to a haven, but they're not going to enjoy this type of activity. 
So I don't know how many are going to enjoy hanging out in uh, in the cemetery. Hunter's Journal, March 1711. It feels almost as if Sarah and Agatha are running short of the challenges to throw in my direction. Have I truly changed so much that my power can no longer be satiated by these two spellcasters? No longer do I fear the darkness within me, nor the light. I have conquered them both, embrace the many facets of my being, darkness and light, blood and human. Ooh, hello. The son of Gaia Cruz. Thank you, thank you. You know I loves it. In the journal page. Wanda's journal, April 2020. I made a terrible mistake. My powers are growing stronger and I'm losing control. But that isn't the worst of it. I went to the reflecting pool today to try to search for guidance, but Kuthan, he heard me, and I felt I felt a strange connection to him. I broke away as fast as I could, but it was like his powers channeled through me, and the ground grew cold and blackened between beneath my feet. I thought that I could use what I have channeled from Hypus to push it back, but I am so, so tired. <clears throat> oh, did she actually do one of the challenges? That's a good question. Oh, hello. A new neighborhood and new stuff. I didn't know we had that level of access. Oh, a card. The Emperor. The Chala stands guard before the different regions he battled for the title of Black Panther. This card represents ambition and leadership and a protection over one's home. That's nice. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, the Encyclopedia de, de Coctio? Be careful where you brew these potions. They will stink up your entire house. Vial of Shadows is a combat item that will conceal you. If you don't have an ability to conceal yourself, you can just use this. It's free. It's one shot. Major Skill Essence, of course, to use these plants to give yourself some money. Okay. Nothing else new here. Oops. Lots of these doll eye things. Are you another Midnight Sun? It is. If I remember correctly, this is the grave of Will Walker, a notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. <laughs> Blade would have liked him. I think we looked here already. We need to have an ability. I can see there's a chest on the other side of that. It doesn't seem to be a road. This rubble looks loose. The gods are fickle. Looks like I would need to have another word of power, so for now it's not available. But we know where we can get these kinds of plants. Now we got some plants here. Deadly nightshades are quite plentiful in this area. Ooh, look at that down there. Foggy, foggy. See? 
can't get past that. By the way, see that? That's where we're going to have to do our next... Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Autumn thinks otherwise. Let me just face it properly and then do it. Autumn reveals all. Okay, some more. See? Blessings of the goddess. Seems to be a lot of stuff here that is corrupted. And something inaccessible. And something not accessible. Thank you, Key. We're not there yet. I need to find the next moon seal. See, they, they're pacing you. I have to get the moon seal, but I have to get to the point where I can get the moon seal. So that won't happen just yet. But we've got it mapped out. Oop. Yeah, there you are. Hmm. Somebody need more of those things? I know where it is. Now. That's this. That's this. It's not me, I promise. It's somebody next door doing construction. Sorry! Oh, that's her cottage, yeah. We're just gonna find the spot where we have that, uh... Where we have the bridge to take us back to the stone terrace. Something there we may find to our advantage. Oh, oh goodness. This is a whole area we haven't been to. Oh, this looks like one of the things we usually have it a, a kind of a. Uh, that's where you usually get a, a key, right? Ooh, celestial brew brewing. When the stars align, these potions can pack a punch. Major attack essence and epic gift. Well, that also is going to have to wait. But... That thing back there is going to have show me the a key. When we can go beyond this, we'll have a, a little more we can do. But right now, this is what we got. Nothing beyond. Nothing higher. There's that bridge I was looking for, I think. Oh, wait, what's this? How much you want to bet this is the, um, the hanging tree? Autumn does not answer. We were just there, we were just there. Where we came from? I think so. And then somewhere else around here, there is the uh, other bridge. 
I don't think it's this. I think it's this direction. Unless this is the Hiram Shah direction. Oh no, this takes us away from it because he's on the other side. Okay. Our other way, of course, is going through the cave here. The yeah, tomb cave, but it's the same thing, really. See? Go over this. We're, we're in the stone terrace. Oh. Are coming back to me, and I don't remember everything. Ooh, cool. here. Oh, looks done. Now I did say over here, I think we've been there already. We already got something from over here. I don't think there's anything to reveal. I think nah. if it was here, Autumn would show me. Okay, this is what I want to do. I want to go to the standing stones now that I've got reveal and we got the reveal icon there. And that's going to do something for us. Ready? Autumn, show me the way. Okay, now, I saved a couple of pictures. Give me a moment, and I can see if I can dig it up. It might change this to a little darker. Uh, let me get to my desktop and my link. All right, so my first one was in the Abbey. And it starts with the, it, what looks to me, a triangle of somebody working out at a pyramid. This one. <laughs> then one that looks like it has a moon upside down. With somebody... That thing. <laughs> then it looks like a mountain with, like, birds or something. Everybody's got their way of calling this. Another one, it looks like somebody vaulting over a, a vault thing. And then this. Woo! Cool. Now, we had just been to Agatha's cottage. Hold on, let me get this picture. And we've got another set. We've got one starting with the mountain with the birds. <laughs> then the, it looks like a boat with, it looks like a goofy boat. <laughs> and it looks like the pole vaulting. I mean, not the pole vaulting, the vaulting. And then the weightlifting in front of a pyramid. And finally, this thing. Okay, so one more to go sometime. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use it, but. I want them to know where they, I want to know where they are. So, done and done! How about that? Now, 
I think I remember a symbol down there in that area where my fort was. Could be mistaken. Ah, I was right. Autumn reveals all. So we got those lovely keys now. Ooh, illustrated mycology. The ink and watercolor illustrations almost jump off the page. Minor heroic essence and a rare gift. Nice. Nothing here, grown back. Kinda cool. So I told you this was gonna be a nice Abbey episode. We've gone so far almost down almost an hour and a half, not quite. And this takes me, of course, to Dreamer's Descent. There's certainly things there we can we can get to or use. We'll go this way. The scenic route, I like to call it. It's where the howling was right on this area. Yep, there's that howling again. The son of Gaia approves. Now you thought something else was going to show up? It's just a key, but it's still a key. <laughs> Thank you. Still can't do anything here. Yeah, that was that worked. Let's go this way. Here. A moon is it? Oh, a new moon. Okay. Agatha wants to talk in the library still, but now that we've been through all these different things, she may actually have something more to say. See, that's going to involve breaking something to get through. Whenever you see a crack like that, you no know, symbol, it means you got to break it. Curious. Symbolic totems crudely constructed to honor the Elder Gods. Those will always have that. This is the spot where... Oh. Did we do that? Because obviously there's a spot here. Did we do that? I don't remember. Wasn't it right at the entrance there was one of these things? Oh, maybe we did it already, but I remember there was like... Not at the stone terrace, at the entrance of... We're on this side now. It was the entrance from the abbey to here. That it had a... This is a bunch of rubble. That's something that break will do. <coughs> so this is the other spots. What's that? Ah, fascinating. Small headstones honoring Abby's beloved pets, Cleo, cherished companion who will cheerfully meow in our hearts forever. Very nice. Ah. Autumn 
Autumn be praised. Well, that's nearby, so what about the other one? We've been collecting keys, and we will be needing them, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, that won't happen. A faded journal page. Hunter's Journal, 1708. Agatha always makes me laugh. My aunt is so serious, always. Sometimes I catch her smiling like a little girl, but only when she's with Agatha. With me, she's just serious. The way she looks at me sometimes, I don't think she knows that I see it, but I do. She's afraid. She's afraid I'm going to be just like my mother. Let's see what we have here. There it is. Is that the one that's going to be near? He sees it. No, that's going to be different. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, they're always going to be nearby. So I don't know if it's something we already had? Or what? In that spot. So, you know, we will probably figure out another time. Or now, because I'm just too darn curious. Did we do anything here? I don't remember. But it's so close to it. You'd think it would be just around this area. Anyway. Beside the point. Also, isn't there a bridge or something? Yeah. There's nothing new here. Out, out of Dreamer's Descent. <clears throat> She's only got a lot of stuff revealed, a lot of stuff opened. It's the, um, stream in this area that also has <coughs> and that's the blood the first blood gate we were in for Oshdor. looks like loose rocks or something so someday oh in this area too lest we forget this spot which occasionally has things growing in it Just the way we, we we need to go in here to see Agatha. Oh, it feels like we've been away forever. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Look at all this stuff! Whoa! <laughs> Who or what are the blood? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. 
They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's sure. probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are, one of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. So... After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she's not buried here? No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. Yeah, you be dead. <laughs> what do you know about the moon seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a moon seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person? Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And caretaker used the words as well? Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey Grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. What was Caretaker like when she was younger? I'm sure it's difficult to remember now, but Sarah wasn't always the steadfast contrarian. In our younger days, she was much more enthusiastic about dashing off to save the day, not unlike some of our younger allies among the Suns. That does not sound like the Caretaker we know and love. Keep in mind, Hunter. Sarah has faced a great deal of loss in her time here. Everyone she ever cared about, in fact. I would say she's earned the right to be disagreeable, at the very least. She is a very strong woman. I'm not sure I would have held up as well, given the same circumstances. Who were the Knights of Wondergore? Another mysterious group of heroes in a world full of mysterious groups. Of course, I'm no expert on transient history. I do know that the Knights of Wondergore were formed as a response to the growing threat of C'thon's influence near the mountain. What exactly did they do? 
Hydra was hardly the first to dabble in Chthonic schemes. Many have tried and failed to awaken the Dark God. Over the centuries, the Knights fought alongside a number of allies who stood against the various crazed worshippers of Chthon. What can you tell me about Chthon? One of the first Elder Gods, Chthon is said to have existed for tens of millions of years, well before the dawn of humanity on Earth. Believe it or not, he wasn't always the bastion of evil that we know today. This story sounds familiar. As the legend goes, the downfall of the Old Gods was actually brought upon by Chthon's brother Set, who found that by consuming his siblings, he could gain their power. After Set consumed Hypus, Chthon followed suit with the others, and in this way, many of the first gods also became the first demons. And how did he come to be imprisoned on Earth? In the same way Hydra has worked to restore Lilith, various cultists of the past sought to revive Chthon to wield his power. When Chthon failed to cooperate, these same cultists did the only thing they could, they locked him away again. What do you know about Transia? Transia is your ancestral homeland, Hunter. The birthplace of Lilith and Caretaker. It has always been a sort of magical junction, drawing in every type of occultist, sorcerer, and even the occasional Elder God. The Abbey Grounds still behave in much the same way, even after all this time. And Wondergore? Wondergore Mountain has always played a prominent role in whatever scheme was underway. Chthon himself is said to have created the Darkhold, deep within the caverns of the mountain. I have heard that Wanda's power comes from Chthon. The way I understand it, as a child, Wanda and her family lived in Transia, not far from Mount Wondagore. Within that mountain, the Dark God Chthon had long been imprisoned, his corruptive influence an ongoing threat to the people of Transia. And Wanda was affected? Whether Chthon reached out to Wanda, or he found her by chance, I can't say. But Wanda was blessed or cursed by Chthon, touched by the power of chaos magic. While he had hoped to make her some sort of acolyte, she proved to be more capable than even he foresaw. You were there? At the witch trials? Not initially, no. If I had been, I like to think I could have stopped them, before it was too late. I sensed something was wrong, and when the witches cried out in distress, I came to Salem as quickly as I could. But Shaw had already committed his crimes against them? Yes. It was a devastating discovery. And for the longest time I blamed myself. But you see now it was not your fault. I've come to understand that we must accept the past and move on. That doesn't mean I won't always carry that pain with me. I know that feeling all too well. I know. And I wish you didn't, dear. I really do. Wow. There's a lot of backstory we just earned. Well, they're not going to do that on the same day. I thought I saw something in the common room. Like somewhere here. Like one of the books had a glow to them. Am I wrong? Nah. She's not very good playing that. <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably all done.
I'm going to say this was it. We did a lot of stuff. S saying we have new things. Well, we have tons of new things. Oh, got a fireplace. I didn't want to do that. Charlie could have a nice fire. She seems to be uh, drawn towards that and the uh, forge, so... This puts more than one frame. It's like the main frame of that spot. Anyway, do we need a cozy armchair? I don't know. I'm sure I'll come up with more clothes for everybody at some point too. But this was certainly an amazing day. At some point we'll get into the caretaker's room too. I reckon it'll have stuff. And, uh, hmm. Let's do this. We're gonna go first to Superlink, to the gallery. I don't mind this picture, frankly. We got this one. Convert to a painting. That might be not be narrow enough for the picture. Now we can do Yeah, this nice, but how do we get it to select? understand this? <laughs> Why we can't do that? Maybe tomorrow we can do it? Maybe they don't want us to do it tonight? Are the, uh, see, these are working. It says picture frame. Oh. Okay, I guess that did work. That looks good. That's what I wanted, and it goes with my bed. So there. <laughs> so until tomorrow, we, we will resume our heroics and all that stuff. Um, thanks for watching. We got a lot done on the Abbey grounds. We got another uh, word of power. We got a few mysteries going. We got a few more chests for when we want to unlock some special stuff. And that's it for now. Take care.